Yeah. So, uh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's me spotting on about stuff. Do I spot on about stuff? What am I spotting on about today? What shall be our subject for today's lesson? <laughs> I don't know. No, no. It's something interesting. But you can't get too truthful. If you're too truthful, people go, yeah, that's cringy. No, that's not us. Yeah, but the more cringy you get, the more real it is. Because that's who it is. Realness in America, or maybe just the world. I just know America because that's where I grew up. You know, I was born in South Africa. I mean, in America since I was nine, so, you know. Yeah, so I know Americans. <laughs> and I'm starting to sound like one, unfortunately. But you're like, what? I, mean, I can't help it, but you gotta sound like them, otherwise they start getting weird on you. Like, where, where, where are you from? And then they start, you know, assuming that they know where you're from. and Because that's what they do. They won't ask you, but they just think they know. Because they always think they know everything. Yeah. <laughs> So obviously, am I trying to sound American? No. <laughs> I I wish I still sounded South African. I do a little bit. I'm not trying to sound. Uh, some people will come to America and start to sound very American, like the Swedish people. They sound. They can sound so American. It's, a lot of these countries, they people will come from they, where, where English isn't the main language, but they, when they speak English, they the sound. I'm so American, especially like the Swedes and some other countries. <laughs> yeah, I'm American now. Yeah, how you doing, guy? You know, right? All right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But yeah, I'm not trying to sell that, and I'm not that. But when in Rome, do what the Americans do. So yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, It's like, are you proud of being South African? Yeah, I'm proud. But we need more heroes in South Africa. It's like there's not enough heroes. It's like, I think that's why we have heroes, so people can feel a sort of kinship with the country, so they'll pay taxes and want to support the country and join the armed forces. I think that's why they create heroes. It's like, why do you want to make this person into a hero? Why, why is having heroes so important to? You know, you know the newspapers and all that stuff the media all sides like this guy's a hero it's like well he did the right thing at the right time he was there and well he did the right thing and I heard his ass make you a it's like what does it mean to be a hero just do one good thing for and then live over that for the rest of your life <laughs> that's right yeah I guess so but your whole life is like none you don't do anything and then all of a sudden you have an opportunity where you can just you know, some kids running across the street, and you go, "Hey, look out!" And then the, you say, "The kid's life, He doesn't see the car coming. And then now, what well, you a hero? <laughs> Just by saying, "Look out!" <laughs> Just by doing the right thing at the right time. <laughs> and now you're like, Rrr. "Now you're like magical. Rrr. You're a magical hero. You're saving the world, aren't you?" <laughs> no. <laughs> so that's very interesting, right? The whole why we create heroes, and usually. <laughs> I think you can tell a lot about country by the people that make heroes, you know. It's like in America, who the first hero? George Washington, a slave owner, <laughs> a slave master, who was very wealthy. <laughs> and you got Thomas Jefferson, <laughs> also a slave owner. <laughs> and then what's the difference between them and Robert, Robert E. Lee? He was some slaves, didn't he? Yeah, in a plantation. So what's the difference between... <laughs> That hero, him and Thomas Jefferson and George Washington. It's like, oh, they were Americans and they stayed on the side of America. Opposed to like, like Democrats versus Republican. If you, <laughs> if you do this and you're a Democrat, then you're a hero. If you do the same thing and you're a Republican, then you're not. <laughs> same kind of difference, right? It's, that's how it seems. So, yeah, think of the people that they made heroes. It's like you're a hero. You can bounce a ball and put it into a hoop, and you're a hero. <laughs> you can run with a ball. <laughs> Look at you, little rogue, running with that ball like a like a little kid, like like you're ten years old. <laughs> it's like you're playing kid playing games like a kid. And but but everything. Like, yeah, it's good though, cause I I got money on this game, <laughs> and you're winning, so I'm making money. <laughs> I think that's what it is. Something like that. I don't know. And then, you know. I don't know. So, 
who's the heroes in South, South Africa? It's like we don't really have any heroes. Well, we try to. <laughs> People try to make heroes out of Nelson Mandela. It's like, what did he do? So, well, he stayed in prison <laughs> and he survived. <laughs> and then, he, then he was freed. <laughs> now he's a hero. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know what Trump would say? Yeah, he's a hero. He's just, he just a guy who's a bad person. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I didn't even heard of Nelson Mandela. I wasn't a kid in South Africa. The heroes were, were Jan van Rie because he was the leader of the first uh, permanent Dutch settlement in Cape Town in the 1600s. So he's a hero because he led the expedition. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jeez, they make heroes. Okay, you're the leader, so you become a hero. <laughs> and everybody else did, did the work, but you're a hero. <laughs> I see. Does anybody who becomes a hero really deserve to be a hero? Oh, you're the first person to do this, so you're a hero. Because <laughs> no one else has done that before. Okay. <laughs> but now everybody's doing it. <laughs> but you're still a hero. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That kind of stuff. This is not... Yeah, we're just kind of searching for heroes. You know, we're just kind of weird. So this, this this thing is so interesting, right? It's like philosophizing, seeing things for what they really are, you know, basically with just accept things for what they are, without thinking what is it, what are we accepting here? You know, I don't know. You know, we the way we are, a lot of things we just accept, we just do because everybody, everybody else does it. We've been doing it, but they why? This is what exactly the significance of what I'm doing right now. What is the significance of this and that and this and that and this and that? Does it make the world better by me doing this and that? What? <laughs> that kind of thing. That kind of thinking, you know, it's like we need more of that. The philosophical thinking. Everybody should become a philosopher and say, mm, why do we have to have the new iPhone? Why do we have to have every piece of technology that, that ever gets created why do we have to have it <laughs> it's because it's there why do we have to have it <laughs> uh, just so we say that we can do it uh, that we have it and, and so we can gloat and say look at that speak of me I have it it's like the Mona Lisa do I have to own the Mona Lisa and this is, so I can say I own the Mona Lisa I'm not special are you what makes you so special because <laughs> you got money <laughs> and you can afford it <laughs> or Oh, well, see, thinking about that. <laughs> see, yeah, just just think about what what we do. Think about all the things that we do. Why do we want to go to wars? Why do we want that? Why do we want that? What do we get from that? <laughs> Why do we keep fighting like the Hatfields and McCoys over things that happened a long time ago? Why? Why does it matter to us? <laughs> Why? Why? 